All right, so I've got seven side hustles that nobody is talking about. And I personally know people that make over a thousand dollars a day from these, and I'm gonna share those. And the first one on the list is going to be designing coloring books. And you're gonna be using what's known as KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing. And KDP is an online platform that allows you to self-publish and sell your own books online. So this is a great combination of artistic ability, entrepreneurship, and the ability to keep your imagination young. And there are literally hundreds of thousands of people making a full-time income from KDP. For instance, when COVID happened, Lisa Cranston's interior decorating business basically went downhill and she noticed that Easter was coming up. So she started making Easter related coloring books and she released them just before Easter came and she was able to make a ton of money from it. And now it's her full time income. And coloring <laughs> books aren't just for kids either. There's animal psychology, Greek mythology, and even psychedelic related coloring books. So the pros here are it's an easy way to self publish. In the past, publishing used to be incredibly difficult and you had to be selected for it. It's an opportunity to tap into a growing market. You have the ability to make money from art and there's availability of amazing tools like Canva and Midjourney. And if you aren't aware of Midjourney, it's an incredible AI tool that you can use to create these coloring books. Some of the cons here are there is high competition. So you have to stand out by niching down and there's no guarantee of income. So the way to get started with this is one, you would subscribe to the latest AI that generates images like Midjourney. Two, you would research the market and identify popular coloring book themes and niches and understand your target audience's preferences. Three, you would create engaging designs using AI. Four, you would format and publish the content. And it's easy to do this by using free online software such as Canva. Five, you would promote and optimize. And this is basically creating effective marketing strategies like making sure you have the right title. And then you would monitor and adapt. So you would regularly track sales, reviews, and customer feedback to refine your coloring books. Now, because of the fact that it is kind of difficult to make money from art, I mean, there's a ton of starving artists out there. There's a reason that term exists. He's out a line but he's right. This is an incredible opportunity and I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 money score. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're shameless and you don't mind a bunch of people staring at you as you drive around in your car. And that's going to be putting advertising stickers on your car with a company like Rapify. And this is exactly what it sounds like. They wrap your car with a big sticker that is an advertisement and you get paid for it. Now, Sticker Ride is another company. You could use Rapify or Sticker Ride and they estimate this market is worth about $20 billion. Now, if you're willing to wrap your entire car, you'll earn on average about 264 to $452 per month. So that's pretty good money for basically doing nothing. It requires basically no skills. All you have to do is have a car and be able to drive and you get started by signing up on websites like Rapify. So the pros of this one is it truly is passive income. You'll probably get a lot of attention if that's what you want and you make more money the more you drive. The cons of this one are limited availability depending on your location. So if you live in a location where there's not that many people, you're probably not gonna be able to make money from this. There are some vehicle restrictions. And the more you drive, the more wear and tear you put on your vehicle. But overall, because of the fact that it's so passive, I have to give this one a money score of 9.5 out of 10. Even people who have the cleanest houses usually have dirty carpets and dirty mattresses. Oh my God. And that's because carpets and mattresses are incredibly difficult to clean. And the truth is most cleaning services will not clean your carpets or your mattresses. And that's because you have to have specialized equipment and it takes a long time to do. And that's where you step in as a carpet and mattress cleaner. And you can make incredibly good money from this. In fact, 19 year old Barry Minkow was able to start a million dollar business doing this exact thing. Now this is something you could of course start a business with or do it as a side hustle or work for a carpet slash mattress cleaning company. And the way you'd get started with this is you would advertise your services on websites like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And then whenever somebody books a cleaning session and they pay you, then you take that money and you go ahead and rent or buy carpet cleaning equipment. And you can usually buy these specialized pieces of equipment for less than $100 on a website like Amazon. So the pros of this one are very lucrative income potential. You can easily make over $100,000 a year doing this. You also have flexible working hours since you're your own boss and the satisfaction of providing a service that not that many other people do. Some of the cons of this one are physical labor is involved, an initial investment in equipment and marketing may be required, and dealing with potential customer complaints or very difficult stains may be stressful. But overall, I'm going to give this one a perfect 10 out of 10 money score. And the reason I'm giving this one a perfect score is I remember I was trying to get my carpet cleaned one time and I had an incredibly difficult time finding someone that will actually do it. So one of the greatest joys in life is man's best friend. That's right, getting a dog. And many upper class or wealthy people have multiple dogs and they love everything about their dog and everything in their life is perfect except for one thing, dog poop. 
And that's where the company Duty Calls comes in. <laughs> Duty. And if you don't mind picking up rich people's dog poop, you can make really good money with this company. Well, okay, why not? Yes, there is a lot of demand for professional dog poop removal services. And a quote I love is sometimes the crappiest jobs can bring in some of the cleanest profits. I see what you did there. And an interesting fact is the average dog actually produces about 275 pounds of poop per year. Now you could work for this company or you could just start your own business. And there's a man named Cesar Jimenez that makes $25,000 a month picking up dog poop. And there's another article here titled How I Made My First Million from Dog Poop. How does that even work? Now, believe it or not, even if you're just doing this as a job and you don't start your own business, pooper scoopers or dog walkers make about $60,000 a year. Holy shit, dude. And the only skills you need for this are attention to detail, the love for dogs, and the willingness to handle a lot of unpleasant tasks. Now, to get started with this, you could work for a company like Duty Calls, or you could advertise your dog poop removal services through local flyers or advertising on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. You could also consider reaching out directly to local pet owners by going to different dog parks and you can put your services on pet directories and to get started all you really need is a pooper scooper a bag and disposal methods so the pros of this one are very low startup costs you also have a flexible schedule and in many cases you have what's known as recurring income and this is where people will pay you monthly and that means you're gonna have a steady source of income the cons of this one are it's a very unpleasant task the demand is going to change based on the season and it also is considered to be physical labor so overall you get to hang out with dogs and as long as you're you're okay with picking up poop this one is fantastic so i'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 money score the next one on the list is a side hustle that one of my sister's best friends turned into a multi-million dollar business and that is renting or selling baby gear to other people now you can get started with this on a website like babyquip.com and this could be anything from clothes to strollers to cribs and even toys books and games and the truth is this is a great service because a lot of these baby products end up being completely wasted because the baby only uses them for maybe a few months or a year and then they just end up sitting around gathering dust in your house or even worse they end up in a landfill and my sister's friend started her business originally just selling her extra baby clothes Stop. so it started off as just a side hustle but then she ended up turning it into a full-time income and now she has a bunch of different locations and she retired in hawaii I want some of that too. So with Baby Quip, the way you get started is you apply online, then you get onboarded, and then you start delivering gear. And you get to keep 85% of the commission on completed rentals. So the pros here are this can be a great source of passive income by renting out baby gear. It's way less wasteful than the old way of doing things. And you have the flexibility to set your own prices and control your schedule. Some of the cons here are depending on your area, there may be limited demand for baby gear. The market can also be somewhat seasonal. And then there's gonna be some wear and tear on the baby gear so you're gonna have to maintain it and clean it. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a money score of eight out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is a super passive way to make money. And this is especially good if you're busy working on the computer all day long anyways. And that's going to be house sitting. And you can get started with this by going to trustedhousesitters.com. And this is basically where you take care of someone's house while they're away. So you might be doing things like watering their plants, feeding their pets, and just taking care of the general maintenance of the house. And while you're house sitting, you can just be working on something else anyways. So house sitters do do make about $34,000 a year. So it's not incredible money, but it is relatively passive. And it's not bad for getting paid to just play with somebody's pets. So the skills needed for this are trustworthiness, good communication, a sense of responsibility, and basic home maintenance knowledge. And you can get started with this by creating a profile on trustedhousesitters.com. So the pros of this one are being able to enjoy the comforts of a new home. And usually these homes are gonna be relatively nice and the ability to network and build connections with homeowners. Some of the cons of this one are the responsibility of taking care of somebody's house, the limited income potential, and limited availability depending on where you live. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 money score. Now, the next one on the list is a side hustle that I have done myself for many years, and it can be incredibly lucrative, and that is picking up trash. <laughs> Oh, wait, you serious? And you can get started with this with trashbutler.com, basically making sure that the property is well managed and clean. But on top of that, in many cases, you can actually make money selling things that you find in dumpsters. Oh my wizard God, it's that easy? And this is exactly what I did. So basically when I was going to college, every single semester, the frat houses and the sorority houses would end up throwing away a bunch of perfectly good electronic equipment. So they would throw away PlayStations, Xboxes, TVs, etc. What the damn hell? 
And this was because they were moving out and they didn't have any room for it. So I would just go around to all the different dumpsters, pick these things up and then sell them. And there's an article about people in San Francisco that do this with billionaires. And it's titled, In San Francisco, Making a Living from Your Billionaire Neighbor's Trash. And it talks about a guy named Jake Orta who literally makes a living doing this. How is that even possible? There's another guy in New York named Vladimir that also does the same thing. And even if you just do this as a job, trash pickers make about $39,000 a year. Teach me. So the skills you need for this is basically just observational skills. So being able to be clean. Unclean. Okay. Oh and then also having an eye for which items are valuable is good as well. So two easy ways to get started with this is through trashbutler.com. And also you can contact property management companies and offer your services. So the pros of this one are you get to work whenever you want. You get the satisfaction of cleaning things up. And in many cases, you can actually get paid daily. Some of the cons of this one are physical labor is involved and weather conditions may affect the feasibility of the task. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a money score of seven out of 10. And I guess the biggest upside to this is if you do get a job doing this you can tell your friends that you're literally getting paid to pick up trash okay yeah i believe you now i actually made a side hustle tier list where i rank the best and the worst side hustles from s tier which is the best to f tier which is the worst and you can check that out by clicking right here